You know, in the Phoenix Protocol, the title of the book is Dry Fasting for Rapid Healing and Radical Life Extension. It's that radical life extension thing that really got me jazzed. When I found out that Phil and I found out that there was this rejuvenation and acceleration of stem cell production after a dry fast, I was sold. It was simple as that. Because the idea here is radical life extension, anti-aging. You know, my personal feeling is aging is a user error issue. And that when I found out that this could actually happen with dry fasting, man, I was all over it. Because this is what happens when you dry fast. Once you get out of burning sugar, you turn on your fat cell, it releases a new kind of stem cell. Your whole body has stem cells. The whole fascial system that I talk about in Neogenesis, all this stuff that holds everything together, all this protein matrix, that's where all your stem cells are. That's why when you cut yourself, that's why you heal there. Your stem cells are there to heal back that tissue. That's why when you damage yourself in a car accident, the healing happens where you get damaged. It doesn't go to that site, it's at the site, it's in situ. And because of that, you have all these stem cells all over the body in 220 different niches. Skin, eyes, brain, kidneys, spleen, all that good stuff. At the same time, every one of those niches, even your fat cells have stem cells. But even those fat cells have three to five percent muse stem cells. Now muse are multi-stress enduring stem cells, which means they're released under stress. One of the stresses that we talk about are these somatic stresses like starvation therapy, which is what this is. This is an anhydrous starvation therapy. No water, no food. It's a purposefully produced condition to turn on these regenerative processes that normally only happen when we're under huge, huge issues like global drought, glaciers, and all this stuff where you're starving and you have to survive. One thing to take home that is that you're here because you were part of that select few that made it through all those epochs. Congratulate yourself. You're one of the very, very select few. Now, when you go into dry fasting, Muse AT stem cells come out of the fat cells. These are very unique. These are pluripotent. These type of stem cells can become any three germ lines, which means they can produce any kind of cell in the body, which means when they get released into the bloodstream, it repairs your endothelial wall, the interior lining of your bloodstream, it protrudes your heart muscle, all the vessels leading in and out of the heart. Because when you release this stuff from fat cells, it goes into the bloodstream. The free fatty acids, the glycerol, that keeps you alive and gives you energy, and these muse AT stem cells, which then starts producing all this healing effect. It also stimulates the bone marrow to start releasing a brand new immune system. So you get a brand new immune system. It's really one of these unique things that this particular technique, this dry fasting technique, turns on these systems that can't happen in a normal night's sleep. As I said before, sleep is dry fasting. You don't drink, you don't eat. But it's not long enough to do enough. Over time, things build up. It just ends up as a huge preponderance of problems that you just can't solve at sleep. And those end up erupting in situations where you get sick and you kick out of the wave too soon. I want to stay in the wave a lot longer. And that's how this works. When you release the stem cells, they produce tissue remodeling and tissue repair. Now, at the same time as the muse stem cells are released for this immediate differentiation, your normal stem cells go through their cycle of replication, about five days worth of replication, which is why when you start on day three, four, five, six, seven, that's five days to get to progenitor cells where those stem cells can then become new organ cells in those organs. But what's been found out is normally they don't necessarily participate in remodeling. They may just sit in those niches producing paracrine signals, which are a set of chemokine signals that come out of the stem cells that make all the cells around them behave like younger cells. So it youthens you. In fact, what Filanoff found was that by day seven, there's a reduction in stem cells, but during recovery in seven through 14, you end up with this huge regeneration effect, three times the normal regeneration of stem cells in the same amount of time, producing all these effects for months. And that's the point. I only think you need to dry fast once a year, maybe twice if you feel like it, but Again, the idea here is once you get the toxins out, and you'll notice that in the first time, uh, you may have done all that good work, and then once a year, you do stem cell regeneration. Because if you're doing it right, you're taking the stem cell regen, which is specifically formulated to have a synergistic effect amongst the ingredients to produce a 70% increase in stem cell production, uh, you get a brand new immune system. You have a very healthy immune system which takes care of all the problems. You're sitting in a situation where for months, you're just living really healthy. You're able to produce all these, these regenerative effects that last for months, 
and I know it works. I mean, my DNA test is three years uh, younger than my chronological age because my idea is to reduce my chronological aging physically. I'm good with just stopping aging right now. I can stay here and not age for 300 years and be just fine. But I've already proven the fact that if you do this correctly, it looks like you're reducing your chronological age biophysically. And that's a great thing. So the best thing I think that stem cells does besides detoxing, which is a great lead into this because you can't have these effects without getting rid of the toxins and all the damage that it will cause over time, is this stem cell regeneration. There's really nothing like it. And it's easy to do. You just don't eat and don't drink for seven days. My suggestion in the new year is try a dry fast. Try a short one. I have a, several videos on my, on my YouTube channel that talk about short dry fast and the benefits because they're cumulative. You will get a lot of benefit from doing short dry fast. A lot of people can't take seven days off and seven days to recover. You gotta work a job. Once a year, you might wanna take a two week vacation and just do a dry fast to regenerate yourself and reduce your age related issues. But during the year, you can do a three-day dry fast two or three times a month, get all these benefits, reduce your toxic load, get healthier, uh, kind of make yourself more invincible to problems, and just employ it into your lifestyle. It's really good not to eat every now and then. It's called hermetic stress and hydrostarvation therapy. No water, no food. And it turns on all these great things in the body that makes you stronger, makes you able to endure situations that come into the future a lot easier. So do a dry fast. I think you'll really appreciate it. And uh, I got more coming. See you tomorrow.